Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Hey girl, hey. Today, as you can see by my title, I am back to share with you all Mac's newest collection. This is the Mac Spring Loud and Clear Limited Edition Collection, which you already know by the time this video is up and you are watching it. This collection is available for purchase at maccosmetics.com here in the States. As always, if you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey, welcome. I hope you all enjoy the video, enjoy your stay. I do try to bring you all Max newest limited edition collections ASAP. Definitely check out my playlist if you are new to Mac or if you just want to know what's been going on with Mac. There's a playlist down below in the description box. Also, of course, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button for me, please, and join the fam, Macaholics Forever United here. And also, don't forget to click on that little notification bell right next to the subscription box, which will notify you as soon as your girl uploads a video. So welcome, hey, it's me. But before I forget, there will be timestamps down below because your girl, I'm just giving you all a warning, your girl loves to chat. So if you're not interested in the chatter, definitely just check out the timestamps if you just want to see the swatches, if you all just want to know my first impression. So like I said, your girl can talk for days, so definitely grab a snack, get comfortable, and if you are interested in seeing the brand new and limited edition MAC Loud and Clear collection, then definitely keep on watching. You know how, okay, so you know how I start the videos with box packaging appreciation. So here you go. It's a clear, clear box. Now when I first saw the color story for this collection moons ago, <laughs> I was like, oh, they're going for like a classy vibe. Like I like that. I like that. I thought it was going to be all white for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> unbeknownst to me <laughs> when I actually got to see the testers when you see the testers they're actually just the product in regular Mac packaging but when I actually got this and I was like what like hold up like wait 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 <laughs> don't get me wrong this collection is definitely giving me 90s vibes for sure like oh my gosh this was so 90s if you're a 90s baby like me where you at this is just screaming the 90s just because I remember back in the day when I was a little girl like I would I honestly remember like begging my mom for those clear see-through the jelly what are they called the chancla you know what I'm talking about oh my gosh obsessed girl I used to be so obsessed with those no joke even though they smelled like oh anyway <laughs> Who else? Don't lie. So this is totally giving me 90s vibes and just like the neutrals and this is just so 90s. So when I first saw this, I was like, mm, okay, throwback for sure. Let's go ahead and get started. First, let's start off with the six eyeshadows. So they're individual eyeshadows. Tell me this is not seriously just giving you 90s vibes. This first eyeshadow, I honestly have no idea how to pronounce, but it's definitely giving me like soft ochre type of vibes, like your everyday kind of all over the lid, under the brow color. This next shade is called Back to Serality. This one is definitely for me more like a transition type of color. Kind of giving me soft brown vibes. This looks really nice. Next one is definitely a classic. This is the Cool Tone Shadow in Omega. This next eyeshadow, you can definitely see that pink. This one is called Keep Still. This also looks like a really nice like transition crease color. This one is called Paint by Umber. Definitely gonna try this one out this is like a really rich dark it's not like a brown you can see that redness to it this one is called bougie babe oh my gosh look at that shade look at that alrighty let's move on to the five lip glasses of the collection that silver top there this first one is called Deco A Go Go. I know this color looks just like outrageous. This is one application as always with all my lip swatches. It's just swatched one time on my lips, one application. So I do have to apologize, this is so random, but I do have to say it because it's annoying me. So it's December, I don't know where you live, but here the weather has been crazy. It's been raining, it's been cloudy, it's been sunny, it's been 
crazy. So my skin is really insanely dry. So I do apologize, like my skin, my lips, it's just dryness here. So I do apologize, my lips just look awful. Oh gosh, and I know some of you guys watching me on your TV and I'm just like, don't look at me. <laughs> so I do apologize, let you know. Always gotta pull through for the YouTube fam and show you all these swatches. So this is definitely not for me, I knew. This next one, you can see that gold in there. This one is called Female Gaze. This reminds me of the lip gloss from the MAC and Mariah Carey collection. You can't even see it on my lips, like you can't. You can probably barely see the little gold shimmers in there, but you know me with lip gloss. Very nice, a lovely shade of pink. This one is called Heart Heist. I think this personally does not look good on me. I just, no. It's a lovely color, but just on me, your girl is tanned all year round. It's not gonna change, obviously. And this one, definitely more of a nude kind of pink. This one is called Painted Lady. Definitely more of a wearable color. It's more like a light, light pink coral. For me personally, I think this is a color from the collection that I could actually use. And the last lip glass is called A Voyeur Is Me. I feel like this color looks deeper in the camera. It's not as intense as it may look. I think for me, this is a really nice color. I mean, do you? But I think this one out of the five from this collection, this one is nice. Let's move on to these lipsticks. Always have to show you all the bullet. This is a luster finish. You can see like my dry patches on my face, but I think you can see this lipstick. It's a luster finish, you already know. You already have your set of opinions on it. This next shade is a matte finish, and this one is called Yash. I feel like this will work on anyone. This kind of reminds me of, well, Whirl is definitely a lot deeper, like muted, but this one also, it's, I think it's a nice color. I think it looks nice, nude neutral. In the two, it looks kind of scary. You're like, oh, you're probably not gonna want this on your lips, but I actually really like this color, so. Also a matte finish. This one is called Sugar Sweet Cameo. I know I shouldn't be talking when doing lip swatches, but I don't know, I can't help myself today. So I always say I don't like pink, but then I really love corals. I don't know, I feel like I look a little scary in this. I don't know. I really like this for spring. This might be it for me. Also a matte finish. This next one is called Baroque the Internet. If you've been watching me from back, back in the day, you know that I used to have a lipstick from Laneige. This is like a deeper version of it. I remember the Laneige one was just a little bit softer but I'll go with it, this is really nice. And the name, Corrupt the Internet, yes. Love it. The last lipstick of the collection, also of course a matte finish. This one is called Sugar Dada. The Lunar New Year collection lipstick, okay. See, they're a little different. I'm like really liking these colors now. I mean, what colors don't I like, right? But, because if you can't have a red in the collection, you definitely need an orange red. <laughs> really cute, really nice. Last but definitely not least, we have the two extra dimension skin finishes for this collection. This, of course, this first shade is called Postmodernist Peach. This second shade is called Hot Damn. Oh, I cannot say that. Is that supposed to be like that? Because, well, yeah. Yeah, I can't say that name, okay? I just got a hot damn. I'm sorry. Is that Italian? Is that Italiano? Because I'm sorry. <laughs>
those are the pictures and swatches for the brand new and limited edition MAC Loud and Clear collection. As always, I really hope these swatches and just my first impressions are helpful for you all. I definitely have my set of opinions, but of course, let's chat it up. Let me know your thoughts down below. So first and foremost, again, for the millionth time, and you're probably like, oh my God, girl, stop, stop. This is just giving me 90s vibes, like for sure, like 90s vibes. Don't get me wrong, it's not like it's awful, but I'm just like, this kind of looks really tacky. Like, I'm just like, okay. Don't get me wrong, I love this pattern texture. I just, I love it, don't get me wrong. I love, love, love it. But I don't know, this, me being able to see the glue and it's just, it's a little tacky for me, I'm sorry. Like, you know I love MAC and you know all that jazz, but eh, I'm not really feeling it. As far as my first impressions, do I recommend you all snatching something like right now or just what do I think? There are definitely some winners, but honestly for this collection, I feel like there's a lot of just yeah things you could do without. Lip glasses aren't my favorite. I think maybe one or two of them show up nicely on my lips. Yeah not for them i'm just, i just don't like lip glasses i end up giving them away to my cousins anyways just because i'm not a fan the lipsticks definitely definitely recommend when do i not recommend the lipstick honestly how many lipsticks have i recommended over the years you're probably like girl my lipstick drawer can't fit anymore yours and mine too girl anyway so these three lipsticks so for sure i absolutely absolutely love Probably these two a little bit more. The first two were just a no-go for me. But broke to the internet is really, really bomb. Sugar Dada. I'm not sure about Dada, but okay. I, I really, really liked these two colors. Absolutely love. Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. You know I'm all about them. I, I really, I'm definitely going to keep them, obviously. Collector inside of me. I just, I love. This is a really nice peach. Like, let's, let's not go crazy. But I do like it. Your girl likes it. Again, please, you know, apologies about my skin. And just, ugh, super, super dry. And ugh, as soon as this video is done, girl, psh, the girls run into the bathroom and take off this makeup. But I didn't even put powder on. I didn't put bronzer. So, anyway, so apologies. I do like the extra dimension skin finishes. I'm not gonna lie to you all. Definitely gonna keep those. I really like a couple of the eyeshadows. <laughs> it's really weird for me to like reach here in my drawer and grab a little MAC eyeshadow pot. All I use now is the quads, you know, palettes, etc. But this one I really, really like. Not just the name, like, okay, it's bougie. <laughs> but. I really, really like this shadow for sure, and I can definitely see this. I already know I'm gonna be like using this for days because you know I'm all about that neutral life, the matte life, so this is just right up my alley, bougie babe. Definitely check it out. Anyways, loves, as always, I hope this video was informational. If it was, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it, especially if you don't have the time to comment on one of these up. Let's me know that you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so, so much. I hope you all stick around. Please don't leave without clicking that red subscribe button for me, please. And then click on that little notification bell, which will notify you as soon as your girl uploads, either to your app or to your inbox. So stay tuned. More MAC collections are to come. Oh my gosh. February. Can't wait for February. Your girl's going to fashion week. Like, it's December and I'm much. Anyways, your girl got her ticket booked. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I love you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.